Uh, all of you kindly turn off your microphone so that we may communicate with one another. And let's begin. Is the screen visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. M my voice is visible, uh, audible to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's class, uh, we'll be talking about a background to academic writing. If you remember, so far uh, in the on site classes, we have discussed research mechanics. Fine. There are actually two parts of the course. Two parts. Uh, the first one is academic writing, as per the order given in the uh, syllabus academic writing and then we have the uh, research mechanics okay Sarawasiniyara. is it clear now or do you still facing the same problem sir it's not clear yeah. sir uh, the voice quality is very poor sir Is the voice clear now? Yes. Yes. So uh, there are two parts of the course: uh, academic writing and research mechanics. And do you remember we are done with research mechanics? Okay, because we have already discussed choosing a research topic, uh, then problem statement, and posing a research question or stating a hypothesis and uh, stating the objectives, uh, stating the delimitations and chapterization in each, in each and everything. And we have discussed literature review, fine. And uh, you know, uh, hypothesis and so many topics. We are done with the entire course of research mechanics and we are left with academic writing. So let's begin with academic writing. In today's session, uh, we are going to, you know, just talk about the very basic background of academic writing, that what academic writing is, fine, what is it all about, what sort of academic writings are there, and why do we need to study academic writing. So this is the basic concern of today's lecture. Uh, one more thing, uh, whatever we will be studying throughout uh, this session, I mean throughout the end of uh, this semester, till the final term exam, uh, I'm going to provide you a brief overview of each and everything here in this session. Here, so uh, let's start with uh, the uh, very basic background of academic writing. The purpose of writing, or the purpose of academic writing. Why do we write things? Why do we need to write? Okay. There are actually certain occasions where do we have to write, okay? Uh, like there are, we feel the need that this is the time that we need to start writing now. Uh, so why do we write? Why do we write? The first reason, let me pick up. Hello, sir. Uh, sir, how are you? Uh, sir? My outside yes. session. Uh, uh, Sir Suleiman? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the screen shot that we are showing on our screens. So, is this what we are writing? This video you will send through WhatsApp as well? I will send you through WhatsApp as well as through LMS. Okay, because this uh, slide show uh, I want to like you know to be saved in my mobile so that I can study it then Okay, fine. Later. Uh, you may save it through screen recorder as well, but I'll share it with you officially with all of you through LMS. Fine. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, Thank fine. you. Should Thank I you. continue now? Please, sir. Okay, then. 
So uh, why do we need to write? Uh, we write to report a piece of research the, the writer has conducted. We have been discussing research writing, writing a research paper, fine. So when we conduct a research, when we conduct a research, what do we do? We need to, to we need to write a report, okay? A piece of writing and we like, let's suppose if you write a research paper, I hope you remember those topics like uh, the topic for linguistic was an analysis of the uh, errors in the English dipping sounds by the graduate level learners of Noel Peshawar. And the second topic was related to literature. It was um, an analysis of the exploitation of lower working class in Henry Fielding's novel. Fine. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we, if someone conducts a research and he or she explores the errors committed by the graduate level learners at Noel Peshawar with regard to the English dipping sounds, he or she will have to someone who is here okay he or she will have to write a report fine in that report the researcher the writer will write that how had he collected the data fine how has he analyzed the data what are the results of his or her research study what are the possible research areas in the future and what are the possible solutions for the errors he or she has explored so he will he or she will have to write a report of that so when we need to write a report simply we need to write okay so that, that is the purpose of writing the second one is to answer a question the writer has been given or chosen to answer a question when you are given a question during your exam fine you have to write an answer and over there you need to write and you need the skills and techniques of academic writing that is why we are discussing this subject uh, this topic in this semester now the topic can be either given to you like just as the example of exams and the topic can either be chosen by the writer fine like uh, let's suppose if you uh, nowadays people are writing uh, over COVID-19, over the possible errors, you know, the frequently occurring errors in online teaching and learning process. So these are the topics which the writers have chosen by themselves. They, these topics have not been given to them. Fine. Similarly, uh, if you remember, I had asked you to select a, to select research topics for yourself. Okay. You had chosen your own research topics. I have not given you the topics, rather you had chosen your own topics. So uh, we, we need to write to answer a question uh, that has been given to us, fine, or, that we, uh, or the question which we have chosen by our own self. The third reason for uh, writing is to discuss a subject of common interest and give the writer's view. When there is a subject of common interest, common interest means like uh, a subject which everyone gets interested in and everyone is writing about, so that we also want to write about that topic fine so uh, in that case as well we need to write then fine now what is meant by uh, this thing that a subject of common interest and in give the writer's view uh, the, the mere basic example uh, uh, i think the best example can be nowadays uh, covid 19 each and everyone nowadays on social media particularly is writing something to express his or her views and opinions regarding COVID-19. Fine. Some people are discussing it from those who are religious people. So they are writing to discuss it from religious perspective and to share with the people to give their religious views. Those who are politicians, they are discussing it from political perspective and they are giving the, their political views. Fine. Those who are the practitioners of the medical field so they are writing to share their views uh, you know the, the, the medical opinions so this is what you call a subject of a common interest uh, for you know to, through which a writer expresses his or her own personal opinions and views the fourth one to synthesize the research done by others is a topic sometimes we select a topic fine a particular topic and we synthesize the research done by others like uh, let's suppose if we uh, look at our literature review chapter so that is the best example i think the literature review part of our research proposals and research papers so in literature review what do we do uh, as you already know that we synthesize we you know uh, collect 
various research papers related to our research study, related to our research topic. We study those research papers and we write a sort of summary. Fine. So we write each and every point present in those research papers, in those books, in those study materials, which is closely related to our own research topic. So these are the basic reasons due to which we have to write. Fine. And in order to write, we have to have the skills of academic writing the skills and techniques okay so that is why we are discussing academic writing in this course is it clear so far it is sir okay fine to me at least okay if someone has got any question can you ask it right now no question at all okay let's move ahead no right question? now no question. Okay. Academic writing, uh, it has got certain types uh, like notes, we have essays, we have reports, we have progress reports, we have research thesis. Okay. But uh, the most common, there are, there are so many, so many uh, types of uh, academic writing. But the most common ones are mentioned here. Uh, the first one is notes. Notes. A written record of the main points of a text of lecture for a student's personal use. Just as Hussein have asked in the very beginning of this lesson. Yes, sir. Okay. Just as he said that, uh, like, is he supposed to write these things to make notes or not? Fine. So, what do we do when a teacher is giving lecture? Uh, we are, we are, you know, uh, not. Particularly in a class, we might be attending a, a conference somewhere, okay, or a workshop. So over there, we have to note down the basic points of the lecture, and we create notes for ourselves, for our own personal use, okay? So that is the first type of academic writing. Uh, then the second type of academic writing is essay, which is the most basic, but the, the, the you know, the most common one. Uh, essay, it is... Uh, a common type of written work with the title given by the teacher normally 1000 to 5000 words usually our teachers gives us uh, give us topics okay or uh, if you have heard about the essay exam of essay in CSS exam uh, competitive exams so over the years students are supposed to write an essay of uh, 5000 words fine so essay is another uh, academic writing G? Uh, आवाज सर बार 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 कट हो रही है ये मसला आ रहा है सर सर जी उमर हेलो जी उमर इस लैपटॉप रख रहे हैं क्या बकार से सीधा से वो क्या मुश्किल है दस लेट मी ट्राई टू चेंज माय नेटवर्क वंस अगेन Let's hope for the best for everyone's sake. Uh, the previous one, sir. Yeah, I'm moving to the next Okay. Can is you it, please go to that as well? Is it clear now? Uh, the exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay fine. A written work type essay, of... In, a, what is essay um, when our teachers give us topic? Fine. And then we are supposed to write a text over that. We have to explain that topic. Fine. Uh, normally, the word limit for an essay is the minimum is 1,000 words and maximum is usually 5,000 words. Okay, but uh, well, you know, for the students of school level, there might be essays of 200 words and even 150 words. For university students, uh, the essays can be simply look at your uh, your look at your exams, the answers. They are, I think, the best examples of essay. Okay, you are answers which you write in your papers they are actually the examples of essays fine and they usually consist of uh, sometimes 500 words sometimes 600 words sometimes 400 words so this is what an essay is okay uh, like uh, write an essay on normal write an essay on the uh, for example write an essay on the uh, psyche of school children Write this in essay of uh, uh, on the effects of COVID nineteen on the psyche of school children. 
it can be a topic. So if you are given this topic and you are supposed to write, so you may write easily, you may write, uh, easily write 100, uh, 1000 words. So this is another type of academic writing. Uh, then we have repo, uh, report. A report is, it is a general term. Fine, because we have got uh, project report as well. So a report is a general term for any academic essay, any academic report, any academic presentation or any article let's suppose when uh, let's if you go somewhere to for example if you visit them in islam bath officially and then you are supposed to provide a report to the department that how did you uh, go over there and uh, what were you know the estimate cost and uh, what were the expenses how much did you spend and uh, what did you experience over there who did you meet each and everything so you write a report of that thing Fine. It is uh, uh, in, a, in a form of essay, a sort of essay, but I, an essay is different from a report. Okay. Uh, when you present something, for example, you present a topic and then your teacher asks you to write a report of your presentation, so you provide a report. Okay. Uh, we have project report. That is also a, uh, a kind of a report, but it is a specific one. And uh, keep in mind, it is mostly conducted by the students of management sciences, people who are doing BBA, MBA, or the people who are, you know, the students of computer sciences, because when they develop a software, computer software or computer website, so they have to provide a project report, okay? Uh, uh, similarly, students of management senses, when they come up with a new business idea or they open up a new business, a new shop, a new shopping mall, whatever so, so they have to provide a project report to the department and to the supervisor. So that is the basic difference between the report and project report. Uh, project report is basically based on a project. Right? You are given a project, the project of developing a software, okay? The project of starting a new business, okay? The project of starting canteen in Namal Bishar. Such type of projects can be there. So when you write a proper report based on that project, it becomes project report, fine? Uh, moving to yeah. another uh, type of academic writing that is paper. Uh, the research paper, okay? Uh, a, a piece of research, either individual or group work with the topic chosen by the students. Uh, simply go back to uh, February or March. You had selected topics for yourself, okay? With the topics chosen by the students. You had selected topics for yourself, your research topics. Then either individual, you people have worked in pairs, if you remember. Students may work individually, fine. I have written my own research paper, so I have worked individually over the year. People may write research paper and they may work in group, just as like uh, in your class, I think there was a group of three people who were working together. Fine, uh, there is a microphone that is creating noise. Uh, it is requested to turn off that mic, please. G. Uh, dissertation, uh, the last common type of academic writing, dissertation or thesis. Uh, thesis or dissertation is the longest piece of academic writing, normally done by a student, by a researcher, and mostly 2,000 plus words are there. Fine. Uh, 2,000 plus words uh, for uh, MA level, master's level, and BS level, Research thesis can be of 15,000 15, words, 18,000 words, or but usually most of the universities they have set uh, particular criteria, criteria and they say that the world, words should not be less than 20,000. For infant level, the world limit minimum uh, minimum world limit is uh, 35,000 and maximum is 50,000. Fine. For uh, for PhD, I think the minimum world limit is somewhat 65,000 or 70,000 or 60,000 uh, if I'm not wrong. But dissertation thesis, the longest piece of, uh, longest uh, piece of or type of academic writing, uh, which contains at least more than 20,000 words. And that is often, uh, often for a higher degree, such as like master degree, infield degree, PhD degree, okay? And on a topic which is chosen by the student. So uh, these are the most, uh, common types of academic writing there. 
Uh, now, is this clear so far? Yes, sir. Okay. In today's class, uh, we talked about uh, the most common reasons for writing, okay? And the, mo the most common types of academic writing. Uh, now, uh, let's discuss certain things which we'll be discussing in this entire course, uh, academic writing, because the topic of today's lecture is a background to academic writing. Fine. So let me provide you a brief overview, a brief background that what we'll be discussing throughout this uh, session till the final term exam. Uh, avoiding plagiarism, you have already heard the name, uh, the term plagiarism, when we copy the ideas from someone else and we paste those ideas into our own research paper, into our own essay, without giving the reference, the index citation and bibliographical reference. Fine, this is what we call plagiarism, simply stealing the ideas of someone else. That is what we call plagiarism. Now, what is plagiarism? How to avoid plagiarism? It will be one of our major topics, inshallah. Fine, we will discuss it in the uh, forthcoming lectures. Paraphrasing and summary writing. Now, keep in mind, plagiarism can be avoided by paraphrasing, by summary writing, and by combining sources. Fine, particularly uh, paraphrasing and summary writing. Paraphrasing, let's suppose if uh, Hussein Saf has written a research paper and I am writing my own literature review or some um, an introduction chapter even, I want to copy some idea from the research paper written by Hussein Saab. Fine. So what will I do? I will copy idea from his research paper, but I will paraphrase it. Paraphrase to paraphrase something means to, uh, you know to rephrase to change the to change the wording of a text and to make it your own text. Fine. But you will have to provide reference. How do we provide references in text citation? We have already discussed these things. Okay. According to um, according to Khan, 2015, etc. If you remember those classes when we were discussing the index citations and bibliographical references, then summary writing can also help us avoid plagiarism. Uh, like if, uh, if I take a research paper, for example, written by Madam Sadia Jalil, and I, uh, you know, I write a summary of that research paper that in order to show that what has already been done so far on the topic I have selected for my own research study. Fine. So I read the summary of one research paper, then another research paper, then another, another, and this is how I uh, write my literature review usually. Fine. So uh, paraphrasing summary writing, the last one is combining sources. We have already talked about uh, sources of literature review, primary sources, secondary sources. So uh, sources can be uh, books, they can be newspapers, they can be research articles, journal articles, they can be uh, magazines, fine, they can be live videos. There, there are like multiple sources out there from which we may get ideas and we may document those ideas in our own research paper, in our own research in, uh, in our own essay, in our own notes, in any kind of our academic writing, fine. So how do we combine those sources? This is what we'll be discussing in detail in the forthcoming classes, inshallah, fine. Uh, moving to stages involved in critical writing. Uh, critical writing, uh, apparently it seems something very simple, but um, you know, while writing an essay, this is a message from someone. While writing an essay, we have to go through certain steps. Shamsul Haq, will you yes, stop texting? Your texts are visible to everyone. Okay, uh, so <laughs> stages involved in Hello? critical essay. G. G. पांच मिनट बाद सबकी अटेंडेंस ले ले क्योंकि ऐसे ना हो कि कोई अनलाइन वे से आ रहा है बाकी सो रहा है सर समीर पायास को आवाज दे दे सर ऐसे ना हो कि सो रहे हैं दोनों फाइन द मीटिंग विल एंड इन टेन मिनट्स अबे ना ओके फाइन सो लेट्स फाइन दिस थिंग्स uh, writing stages in critical essay, yes, while writing an essay, we have to go through certain stages, okay? The very first stage is uh, what we call brainstorming. If you have heard the name brainstorming, we brainstorm all the ideas which are in our mind, fine? And we write yes, them on a piece of paper. There are certain te techniques used for brainstorming, like we have free writing, we have listing, 
we have that spider web, the spider web technique, like we write the topic here, for example, COVID-19, and then uh, I write, for example, effects on the psychology, the sake of children, uh, problems in the education system during COVID-19, death or the death ratio, or, you know, so sort of, uh, uh, side, sort of effects on people, then the positive aspects of uh, COVID-19. So it it, com it becomes, you know, a kind of spider web. So th these are, there are multiple techniques used for brainstorming. Then uh, I'm just, you know, providing a brief background. Then we'll be discussing all these things in detail, keep in mind. So uh, uh, brainstorming is the first step, the first stage involved in writing critical essay. Then the second stage is uh, outlining. Fine, we create an outline. Uh, this is an outline. Simply look at uh, this page. We have one out outline. We have another outline here. This is another outline. Fine. Uh, the moment I start a class, in each and every class, if you remember, I draw a sketch on the board. That is simply what we call outline. Okay, based on which then we write an essay. Like we draw an outline and then we explain each and every point in that particular order. And this is how we write an essay, fine. So outlining is the second stage of essay writing. Uh, then we have the uh, writing stage, the actual writing, the first draft. We write the first draft of, of our essay and then uh, we come here, we proofread it by our own self or we make it our essay proofread by our friend, our colleagues, our teachers or, you know, by any other, other expert person. Uh, we proofread it or we get it proofread and if we find certain problems, certain errors and mistakes, we rewrite it and we finally submit the final draft to the, our supervisor, to our teacher or to the people concerned. Fine. So, uh, uh, organizing paragraphs. Uh, Paragraphing in essay, that is a very important thing in essay writing. In essay writing, if you remember, we, uh, before the midterm exam as well as the final term exam in your previous semester, uh, I had told you how to attempt the paper. Fine. And over there, due to uh, the time constraint, I had provided you a very brief background of how to write an essay. Fine. So I had told you that uh, writing in uh, the, uh, the structure of an essay consists of an introductory paragraph, fine. Then the main body, which contains, uh, you know, uh, supporting paragraphs. And then at the end, we write the concluding paragraph. So we have one paragraph in which we discuss each and every single major idea, fine. Then the, we come to the main body, and in the main body, we write 5, 10, 8, 12, 15, 20 paragraphs, fine. In each paragraph, we write one single idea. Okay, let's suppose in the introductory paragraph, if I have discussed 10 ideas, so I'll have to write 10 paragraphs, at least 10 paragraphs, fine, to discuss all those ideas one by one. And then at the end, we write a concluding paragraph, and then, uh, you know, we provide a brief conclusion based on the things which, which we have written before in the main body. So this is what the structure of an essay looks like. Okay, so organizing the paragraphs, organizing the main body, introduction, conclusion, all these are the things which we'll be discussing uh, in essay writing, inshallah. Uh, then uh, uh, the last point that is accuracy in writing. Keep in mind, academic writing must be accurate. There must not be any single grammatical mistake. There must not be any, any sort of mistake. Fine, all the mistakes must be avoided. So um, in order to be accurate in writing, we need to have a complete command over abbreviations, particularly those abbreviations which occur, you know, very frequently in academic writing. Like um, for a student, I think we have SSC, okay, we have UNESCO, UNICEF, WebDAW, and these, you know, frequently occurring abbreviations, they must be mastered. So we'll discuss at least 100 abbreviations, the most frequently occurring abbreviations. Uh, academic vocabulary, so as far as this point is concerned, I think you are on your own because it can be, a vocabulary can be enhanced only, only if you read more. Okay, the more you read, the more your vocabulary will be, will be strong. Okay, fine. <laughs> Uh, moving to parts of speech, so uh, you have already studied parts of speech, all of us have studied in our school life and college life, uh, but still uh, we will discuss parts of speech very briefly, not all of them, like common noun, proper noun, we already know what these things mean, but uh, our focus will be only in only on the problematic areas, like uh, usually as far as I have observed, uh, observed 
my students, their essays and their, uh, you know, writing during exam, they uh, make errors with regard to the uh, countable and uh, uncountable noun, fine, with regard to the degrees of adjective and degrees of a verb, fine. These are the things we should be discussing in part of our speech, inshallah. Punctuations, uh, the most important um, aspect, I think, of writing because a single punctuation mark can change the complete meaning of a sentence, fine. So we'll be discussing punctuation marks, uh, time words and time phrases, uh, phrases, if you could get sufficient time, so we'll be dis uh, we'll discuss these things as well. Um, time phrases, time words like uh, first, second, secondly, then next, after that, before, yesterday, tomorrow, uh, a year ago, last week, they are time phrases and time words. Okay, those words and those phrases which indicate time. Uh, moving to verb, the very last point, uh, personally, I want, if we could get sufficient time, so I think we should allocate, allocate at least two lectures or three lectures to tenses, fine. But keep in mind, we'll not be discussing tenses from that traditional perspective, like Urdu uh, Hepechan in English Hepechan, Tahi Tehe, fine. We'll try to go for something very broad, okay. We'll discuss the tenses from uh, a very broad perspective, okay. I think uh, it will take us at least two lectures to cover present simple tense only. So uh, we'll try our level best to cover tenses and we need to study tenses in detail because I have observed so many problems, errors in the writings of uh, the students with regard to the tenses. Uh, the rest are PCM wise, they are also important and along with that direct and indirect narrations as well. So our focus will be on tenses, PCM wise, uh, indirect narrations and modal auxiliaries, modal verbs. Fine, a formality to uh, formality or words there again, like if you, if you could get command over modal auxiliaries and uh, those, um, you know, modal verbs, you can easily come to know what is meant by the words, which like how can formality be maintained in communication while using modal verbs and modal auxiliaries. So, uh, these are all the things. Uh, we'll be discussing inshallah. Uh, coming to the conclusion, uh, a big uh, a background of academic writing. So we talked about certain reasons of writing and then most common types of academic writing. Uh, here they are. And uh, then the future tasks, what we'll be doing in the forthcoming sessions. Fine. So this is all, yeah. all about today's session. If you have any questions, you may kindly ask. All of you are welcome. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It was uh, very informative, and uh, thank you, we would like to. And uh, sir, yeah. uh, what about uh, what about the login issues on LMS uh, uh, normal LMS, sir? Uh, actually, the um, IT department of Namal Islamabad, uh, their team is working. You know, twenty four they want to resolve all the issues. I hope the issues okay, will, they might be resolved today or at least tomorrow, inshallah, because uh, we have so many campuses now. So uh, okay, they, sir. They, we have yeah. actually overburdenized them. Uh, so let's yes, yes. The best. Inshallah, the problems will get resolved soon, very soon, inshallah. Yeah, uh, but sir, uh, one thing more. Sorry for disturbing you. Uh, like any, you know, sir. Like um, uh, we don't have the timetable yet. Also for all the subjects, now. This is the research methodology, which is the morning subject for us. Yeah, this uh, is the morning and subject. we are. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Yeah, this is the morning subject, but uh, as far as yeah. uh, repeaters are concerned. Um, okay, so sir, them, as I am the repeater, huh? if they if the repeaters want to join the session in the morning, they are welcome. If they want to join it in the evening, so again, I have no issue. Fine. Uh, yeah, okay, because uh, sir, uh, we are the afternoon students, huh? so that's why I'm not uh, like you know, I don't want any uh, overlapping uh, with the other subjects, that is, is the thing. Uh,